Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Steam playthrough. Today we have the 31st prototype. It's a cute little hand-drawn puzzle game. Um, I played enough of these Windows games. I remember that F4 is the full screen. Good for me, I guess. Uh, I don't know how to... There we go, you gotta click. Author. Give them their credibility before I beat the game. The creators Heim. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. H-I-M. Is there anything... New book, Steam Street, will release on summer 2021. So I guess he likes to do steampunk art. Okay, I think it's mostly in Japanese. Entry, Summer Daydream, Doll Dream, Ether, Moonship, New Year, News. I don't know if it's Japanese, it could be Korean. I can't tell the languages. This was... I think it's Japanese because of these symbols, but I could be so wrong. Alright, back to the game. The outset. Boom! Sonic, boom! Boom! The thunders? Oh, yeah. Lightning through the window and run around in metal filled room. Some machines in the room crackled. The thunderstorm lasted only two hours. Soon after moonlight began to cover the earth, lighting up a, a corner of the room through the small window. It's alive! In the quiet room, there is a sound of electric current. Then there is a little movement. I'm... There is... Uh oh The fragmentary picture quickly f flashed quickly in my head. Sizzling. Error. Read failure. I'm a robot. My name is Yen Set uh, Ampersand. Asterisk, asterisk, percent, ampersand. Open parentheses, close parentheses, at. Asterisk, ampersand, percent, percent. Yen sign. Hashtag, percent. That's such a strange name. My master is percent percent hashtag at sign percent percent ampersand asterisk percent yin sign pound pound or hashtag ampersand star close parentheses asterisk ampersand percent yin hashtag ampersand close bracket I guess. The hard disk is a damage. Please perform automatic repair. Auto repair. Auto repair failed. Please insert the repair disc. We're having a terrible time, I guess. The hard disc is damaged in large area and there is an error in memory loading. There seems to be an important memory loss that needs to be restored by finding a repair floppy disc. Moon lights up the current corner through the window on the side wall. The rest of the place is dark. Try getting up but stumbles. The joint may be a bit rusty. Bang! Try walking a few steps into the dark, but hit the wall. Need to turn on the light first. Alright, is that my first mission? Turning on the light? There's a generator by the wall. Confirm whether it works normally. Turn the rocker around. The generator is working. Nice, look at it. The generator is soon filled up with electricity. It's too dark to see anything. Need to turn on the light first. Okay. Battery's full. Alright. Okay, so I gotta actually look at the wall. I guess. How the hell do I turn the light on? Yes. Thank gosh we did it. This is a general power station. Oh, still a general power station. There's not enough power in my body. The electricity filled by lightning will not last long. Alright, hit me generator or something. I don't know what we're doing here. The battery is full and the generator is out of service. Or was that just a warning? Start charging. 10%, 20%, 30%. Hundred percent charging complete. Nice. We're doing it. 
need key to open. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's understandable. At least that's like the main thing. Plus, uh, the creator's better at a single, second language probably than I might be at my primary language, so... As long as it's understandable, that's all that matters. Found out a broken... Found a broken wire. Try connecting. Alright. I just woke up, so I know I'm not speaking, reading it very well either, to be honest with you. Alright. Stop it. Hmm. Russ stuck is stuck on the switch and I can't pull it. Battery's full and the generator's still out of service, huh? Okay, what'd that switch do for me then? There's a switch here. Try pulling the switch. Some things you have to interact with multiple times, so that kind of threw me off a little bit, but now I know what I'm doing, I think. There's a weird room over there. Okay, so we don't want to go into that room. Prototype. I'm the prototype. I like my little star head. Prototype. All right. Reservoir. Plant culture apparatus. A few already dried vegetable leaves. Cage. There are a few feathers left in it. There's a flower shaped hole at the foot of the wall. Uh, I need a flower shaped something to put in there. Okay, maybe I have to go back to that room and try to go into it again. Alright, you talked me into it. Theme Street. Piano out of t is out of tune. Oh, I'll tune you up. There's a weird feeling in this area. I should investigate it carefully. Automatic trip. Where is the poor contact? There's something weird on the floor. Well, the floor's weird. Try stomping on it. Ducking. Checking. That was the sound at the, that switch. Try the switch again. Pull the switch. If this shocks me to death, I won't be upset. The circuit has become smooth. I am rising! It is me, your robot king or queen. A photo on this wall. It seems to be a pair of a grandfather and a grandchild. It was me before I became a robot. Abnormal situation. The elevator went down automatically. After analysis, it is judged as gravity induction elevator. Try investigating the side first. The lock is required. The lock requires a four-digit password. Uh -huh. Oh, this word Papasan used to live. I'm guessing. Hmm, I can't interact with nothing in here. The clock has stopped working. The right drawer can't be opened. Try opening the drawer. A broken remote control in the drawer. It's maybe helpful in investigation. Take the remote control away. Some things, like I thought I tried to interact with that the first time, but it wouldn't let me, so. Well, I did it wrong. Shower room, shower room. Okay. 
Need to investigate more carefully? Oh, okay. There's a will on the cabinet. Turn the will? Yes. Turn the will? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're turning it. <laughs> An old suit jacket. Okay, so it's kind of like a point and click. You kind of have to... I, I'm thinking you have to interact with things at the right time. I'm guessing. This is posing the wall. Okay. So I gotta turn the wheel and then try the door, probably. I'm guessing. Oh, you're going to open. I can feel it. Boom. There's a key in the drawer. Special shaped key. A flower shaped key. The matching shape of the key was recorded in previous investigation. Take the key away. Take the key with you, I guess. Shower room. Perfect. Hey, can I jump? The opposite side room has not been investigated. Try this remote control. Use the remote control? Yes. Uh, oh, perfect. Press the pause button. Press the pause button. No, no, no. Go up so we can investigate the other side room. What are you doing? Although the pause button was pressed, the elevator came down. Remote control may be out of order, or be a bit out of order. Okay, well we got the flower shaped key. We'll try to investigate that later, I guess. Insert key? Yes. What in it? Plague mask? There's a beak shaped mask in a notebook. Open the notebook? There's something written in the front of the notebook that's hard to understand. Presumably this is study log. Keep on looking through the note. Suddenly start recording something that was totally different from the previous pages. Doctor's memory. My daughter and I have been living in this peaceful town. Suddenly a plague swept through the town. The quiet life was broken from then on. The death rate of this plague is very high. COVID. And there is no cure. Soon the town was strewn with corpses. I decided to block my home to avoid this disaster, but it was too late. My daughter's skin began to show some black lumps. These black lumps began to burst. I was shocked by the pus and blood. Then she began to have a fever and became bedridden. I started to study the plague. Ah, huh, ain't working. Doc. Doc. Ah, uh, I'm stuck in the cutscene. I can hear myself moving, but I can't. Hmm. Am I gonna have to replay through this whole game? Oof. Well, that would be. Seems like this is gonna be very unfortunate. Uh Well, hopefully it saves in some capacity. I doubt it, but we'll see. Ugh! Ugh! She began to have a fever and became... I started to study the plague, but it was getting worse very... Qu it was getting worse very quickly. 
Finally, my daughter passed away in pain. Oh, thank God we made it. Dot, 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 dot. Next pages are all blank. I went straight to the last page. It says, Finally, I've finished. Oh, I made a terrible mistake. My advice would be is don't get too caught up on reading and don't hit any arrow keys on accident while you're reading through this because I think that's probably what glitched it. But basically she got sick and he turned her into a robot so she could live. I bet my remote control's working now. I did find out that, uh, playing back through it, that you have to do things in a certain way before you can interact with certain other things, I noticed. But it only took like three minutes to replay through it, so that was nice. The right room has not been investigated. Let me see if the elevator can work now, normally now. Perfect. Try using the remote control again. Uh oh, we're stuck forever. No response. The remote control is completely broken. It's our dinner table. And the shower room that I wouldn't let me go into last time. Oh, it's my bedroom. Our room. There's a music box on the desk. Oh, I turned it off. Uh, you can go back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something weird about the star mark. Opened. There, there is a diary in it. Girl's memory. My birthday is the last but one day of My birthday is the last day of every year. That gave me the diary on my birthday. Diary, the diary is very helpful to me. Oh, there's two of us. Because I have a strange disease of poor memory. I can't remember anything too well. And I can't remember everything before my birthday. So I have to stay at home for recuperation. Of course, I always remember mom and dad, or the moon and, the, and dad. Three of us have been living in this house. Oh, the robot's the moon. That's the robot's name. I'm living a happy life every day. Moon is a robot, but I felt a sense of kinship with it. I like to chat with it. Dad never let me out. But I've been at home for so long that I'd like to go out and have a look. I would try to implore Dad on my next birthday. Let the wish come, let my wish come true. There is a long time before my birthday. My father suddenly said that he would take me on a long journey. But my health but his health seems to be getting worse. I want Moon to go with me. Dad didn't say yes. Although I'm disappointed that I can't take Moon out. Being able to take a journey, I am still very happy. I asked my father for a new diary. I should be able to see a lot of new things on the journey. I'll write it all down and tell it to Moon when I get back. Moon. My name is Moon. Is that before or after? I guess she died. Third. She actually died, died. Oh, that's sad. Graffiti with clouds on the wall. Hmm. So sad. My eyes are starting to water. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, we already did that. There's a remote control on the table. Take away the... 
Take the remote control. I wonder if that four digit thing is a number or if it's my name. How's the elevator? Yes. Yes. I have no idea. Maybe he can't find Clue in Girl's Diary. Okay, he taught me into it. I think that was probably the most hard thing to understand though, was her diary, so. Ah, dang. Hopefully there is a clue. I don't remember there being any numbers. It's the last but one day of every year. 1231, is that it? I think it's 1231. Or 3112. I wish it would flat out tell me the day. It might be 1230th. Those are, I don't know, we'll try. Oh gosh. I hope it works. I do not want to brute force it. I absolutely, I know it's a date. So I know the options that I have, but God, I don't want to brute force it to be honest with you. I'm so tired. I literally just woke up. Uh, but I will if I have to. Don't make me do a game. Son of a bi- Oh, dude. Oh, it's 12.30th. Okay. Woo! Yeah, I was warded really weirdly. That made it very hard to solve. <laughs> oh, thank gosh. System error. Please repair. Otherwise, may shut down automatically. Need to find repairing disk. There are some serial numbers on the folder. There is a floppy disk in the bookcase. Prototype number 31. Attempt to repair. Insert the floppy disk into the reading port of the back head. Start repairing. 1%, 2%. Pairing needs some time. Huge mysterious machine. There is a notebook on the desk. Open the notebook? Yes. Doctor's memory. I plan to revive my daughter. The method comes from the previous research, thinking the, in the brain be stored by an entity. There were robots in that age, but making a robot has, but make a, making a robot that has personality and can't distinguish between a parent, can't be distinguished by a parent between human. It's still taboo. So I was completely isolated from the outside world. In order to ensure adequate food, prepare, I prepared a breeding room. I used programs to simulate my daughter's personality. Then the program was imported into the mechanical doll. First prototype was successfully made. However, the first prototype was very mechanical. This stopped working three days later, so I started a decade-long process of improvement. Finally, the 30th prototype is running steadily, but to carry the real personality, especially the memory, needs a huge storage capacity. So I use a floppy disk? <laughs> okay, dude. So I stopped to operation one day before do my daughter's birthday every year. The 30th? Put her the memory and make Maintain and prepare maintenance engineering. And then I created the 31st prototype to accompany my daughter. My daughter named it Moon. Ah. 
Moon was just made as an ordinary robot without thinking. Without the ability to think. Interestingly enough, with their contact, the underlying data of Moon began to have some changes that acquired learning of that it acquired learning ability. It has been more than 20 years since the first prototype. I'm already an old man who's eaten up with diseases. I don't think I can live long. I'm t maybe tired of being here. So I decided to take my daughter out until out together until the end of my life. I don't know what the world is like now. Aw, oh, and I got left behind, dude? That's jacked up, son. Why would you do that? 99%, 100%, repair complete, start loading data. I don't know why I started doing dialogue by itself. E. Now I recall a key. The key doctor gave me at the last moment. Why do you leave you behind for? Oh, it's because robots aren't, they're frowned upon. That makes sense. I was about to say, you couldn't tell the daughter away from a robot, but I'm guessing he didn't take her because robots were looked down upon. You talking about a piano key? That'd be pretty freaking nifty. Nope. Wishful thinking. Well, at least it's finding in the key for me. This could have been a pain in the ass. It should have fallen around here. I found it. I've been carrying this key with me, waiting for them to come back. I don't know how many years have passed. So fucking sad. Because of no maintenance, my joints have become inflexible. During the power storage operation in this room, the body lost its center of gravity. I fell and knocked my head against the wall. And then I stopped working. So sad, bro. God damn. I did not... Moon's memory. Did not sign up for the fill, the fill trip right when I woke up. Really? I can't take Moon out? Doctor shook his head. The girl waved goodbye to me. I also waved in response. Doctor turned to me and said, From now on, you can make your own choice. He handed me a key. You're free. We're all free. I didn't understand the last words of the doctor and why he gave me this key at this time. Now I understand it all. They won't come back. Fuck, dude! <laughs> it's so sad. I unlocked the door with the key. Push the door to the outside world. It's morning already. The sunshine is very bright. I decided to travel. And then Kino's journey began. Scenario by Haim. Or Ham. Haim! Oh, that's really fucking pretty artwork. I like that a lot. This was a dope ass game, but it's so sad. God, it's so sad. I only ran into that one glitch, and I'm glad I was able to get past it to see all the artwork. The artwork's beautiful. Definitely worth the dollar fifty nine. I enjoyed this a lot. Produced by Heim. I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, dude, if I'm butchering your name. You do really good on the game, though. God, it's so sad. I told you it was Kino's journey. She even has the fucking bike, dude. Moon, where are you from? A place far, far away. Can you tell me your story? I have already forgotten the past for a long time. <laughs> nice, at least you moved on. That's awesome. The end. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Uh, thanks for watching.